Sometimes when you pour liquid, it pours smoothly, and other times it looks more like this. Or this. As you can see, this effect really slows down the amount of time it takes a liquid to empty. It's known as a glugging instability, but how does it work? As liquid is pulled down, the volume inside the bottle creates a low pressure zone. Air on the outside tries to move inwards. The opposing motion between liquid and air creates this oscillatory glugging behavior. And knowing how this works, there are a few ways to get around it. Like cutting off the bottom of the bottle to expose both surfaces to atmospheric pressure. Or by giving the bottle a spin. The vortex pulls air in through the center and allows fluid to escape along the edges. We wanted to explore this phenomenon in more depth and answer two questions. What factors influence how long it takes a fluid to empty a glugging bottle, and how does tilt angle influence the glugging instability? To answer these questions, we wanted to look at a variety of different bottle geometries and two different fluids, water and honey. To characterize the bottles, we measured three different perimeters, opening diameter, bottle diameter, and slope of the bottleneck. From our data, we found that the larger the opening diameter, the shorter the emptying time. We also found that the steeper bottlenecks have longer emptying times. Next, we wanted to study how tilt angle influences this glugging behavior. Using this data, we found that larger tilt angle does not make liquid pour faster. So remember, shallow angle, smoother, and faster pour.